Hey guys, welcome to another code.org app lab tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can create something of a uh, typing game. So let's have a look and see my demonstration of that. So the typing game works as follows. Uh, we click the start button and we're going to see some uh, words appear here. I'll show you guys where the uh, bank of words come from. And uh, we'll also keep track of how many words that we have typed in according to our game. So let's begin. So hit start and the word apple appears there. And I'm going to type in apple. So you see the count has increased by one. I'm going to type in orange as it changes, increases by two. Banana, three. And I'm just going to keep typing these words. Uh, the words appear every uh, five seconds. And we can, uh, I'll show you guys how we can change that timing later. Uh, there are only seven words uh, in this uh, bank. So once it reaches the seventh word, it cycles back to the beginning. We can keep typing to uh, increase our score. Okay, there's no end to this, uh, but we can set an end condition uh, another way, which is very simple to do. So let's begin on how we can do this. So I'm going to create a new project right now. Let me reset that. OK, I'm going to rename this to Typing Demo. Save that. OK, uh, first off, I'm just going to create a few of the interface buttons. So I'm going to create a Start button. I'm going to have uh, two text areas. Actually, no, this is not a texture. This is an input, a text input. So drag this off, put a user input here. And I'll put another text area here. OK, for the input box, I'm going to rename this to text input. Text the input. Uh, for this, this is where we show our words. So I'm going to call this show words. And here, I'm going to call this our score, so txt score. Okay, so now that I've changed the identifiers, let's also uh, put a little uh, label here as well. So this is the score. This is uh, type the words here when the game begins. And the starting text for this is type here. OK, rather than button, I'm just going to change it to start. It changes to BTN start. Right, next thing we're going to look at is uh, we're going to build our bank of data. And to build a bank of data, click on data here first. And we're going to create a table for, I'm just going to call it words. Okay. And it will have one column of words. And we can start putting some data in ourselves. So I have no idea. Let's put in um, tree. And uh, let's put in water. I'm curious about uh, two words. Uh, let's put in Porsche. I think that's how you spell Porsche. And um, uh, let's put, I want to try this Batman Lego. And while we're doing superheroes, I don't know, let's put Iron Man in there. Okay, and um, let's put mouse in here. Okay, so we've got we're starting to populate a little bit of data here that uh, we're going to cycle through. Let's go over here to our code and see what's going to happen. So um, the most essential part that we're going to have to do uh, is actually here under controls, and we're going to create what's called a timed loop. Um, which is, uh, we'll be using this again in, in future tutorials. So 1,000 roughly represents one second. So I'm going to keep the time fast just to, uh, so we can see the demonstration of this. We can change that uh, time later on. Uh, the other thing we're also going to need to do is we're going to be able to need to read records from our table. So you recall that we created a table or a data table called words. And in the words, we have words uh, as a field. That's probably not a very good idea. Um, let's maybe rename this to, um, I'll just call it vocabulary, maybe. So maybe you're uh, getting your 
uh, user to type in a bunch of different vocabulary, or maybe the workaround their spelling. Okay, so when it says read records, we put the name of our table, so that's words. Words. And um, the way we reference our data, actually, I'm going to remove this, and we're going to show this set text, and we're going to select our show words. So we're going to show what we pull out of our table into here. And over here, uh, we're going to have, it's done like this, as records. Actually, I forget. So uh, I'm going to pull out an example to see, uh, check on that read records. I'm just going to leave that down here. So it's actually records, square bracket. So we don't need that. So records, square bracket i is the index of the array. And uh, what the... Uh, what the column is. Okay, so what, what, what is this data here? So this is vocabulary. So we want to get vocabulary here. Vocabulary. Right. Okay, so it's going to grab uh, index i. Now, um, this is uh, a bit of a programmer's thing here is um, the way it works is this. Uh, in our index, I'm going to do this right beside here. So even though the identifier for tree is one, uh, I'm going to do it actually on this side, the index, what we call an index, is actually, it starts counting from zero. Okay, so zero is one, one is two, two is three, three is four, and so on. Okay, it's always one less than what we normally see as our ID. Um, it tends to be a computer science or programmers kind of thing where we don't start counting from one, but rather we start counting from zero. So the first item is always zero, and the second item is always one. Okay, you may need to take a moment to digest that, uh, but that, that's the way we do our counting. So when I reference, uh, if I'm just gonna pull the first item out, I can put the number zero there. Okay, and let's just maybe see this in action first, okay? Let's test this out. Okay, so we do see tree, and tree, as you recall, is our first piece of data. So even though we wrote zero... Okay. Right. Uh, so if I put in one, reset. Okay, so we do see water. Okay, now if we want to cycle through this, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can do this right now, is we'll want to create a variable for, um, I'll call this uh, current word count. Okay. Current word count will start from zero, because as we saw, zero will be the very first piece of data tree. And so rather than putting one there, where's two or zero, I'm going to put current word count. So this is going to be the same effect as having zero there, but as we will see a little bit later, I'm going to reset and run this just to test it out. Okay, so we do see tree. Okay, we're going to change and modify that value. So I'm going to try to do that right now. So after we set the text, then I'm going to modify the value of current word count equals itself for the current value of current word count plus one. Okay, so it's going to increase the variable by one current word count, and then it's going to update itself with that new value. So it increases by one each time. All right, let's reset. Let's run this and start that again. Okay, and there's actually something that we can do here, which I'll show you, is uh, we can actually watch this data. Oh, looks like there's something wrong. Ah, okay, it's, uh, it's reaching a point where... Uh, there's no more uh, data in our table for us to show because it's at mouse. It's trying to find ID number seven or index number six, and it can't find anything. So let's write a little bit of code to reset that. So we're going to do control. We're going to write an if here. So if the current word count, 